And the sixth angel poured out his vial upon the great river Euphrates. And the water thereof was dried up, that the way of the kings of the east might be prepared. This was once one of Iraq's largest lakes. Now it's little more than a puddle. Its source, the Tigris, and the Euphrates, Iraq's two great rivers, are the lifeblood of the Middle East. But they're drying up. What comes to your mind when I mention West Asia? Conflict? Regional rivalries, maybe? Today, we are focusing on another issue that is plaguing West Asia, and that's climate change. Millions in Syria and Iraq are facing water shortages as the region's longest river, the Euphrates, dries up. Israel and Jordan have been engaging in drought diplomacy over scarce water resources, while Kuwait is converting the world's largest tire dump into a city. Uh, this used to be almost completely underwater. The only way to get inside is on motorbikes, so we're riding in just to see just how bad it's gotten here. Wow, look at this. This used to be a lake. Here, the liberal water before uh, one year, uh, two meters. Two meters? Yeah. That's about six feet high. Wow. And now this is just totally dead? Like a desert. Hello, everyone. I hope all is going well with you. It appears as the Euphrates River is drying up. For the last 6,000 years, the Euphrates River has brought the areas of Turkey, Syria, Iraq, and Saudi Arabia unprecedented success. It's been the main source of water for the region, and with it, Growth and fertility are unlike anything they'd ever seen before. However, things in the river and times are changing. And with it, questions are popping up all over like, is this biblical? In my opinion, yes, it's 100% biblical. I know some will say the things described in the book of Revelation have been happening since the beginning of time. Saying, when is his coming? And yes, it is true these things have happened in the past. Those were local events. But now they are global as the world prepares for the biggest changes in its written record. Now let us step back for a moment and take a look at a prophecy that God gave Daniel. In Daniel 2, King Nebuchadnezzar had a dream. God gave the dream to Daniel to interpret. The king dreamt of a large dazzling statue with a head of gold, chest and arms of silver, belly and thighs of bronze, legs of iron, and feet partly made of iron and baked clay. The dream ends when a rock not cut by human hands breaks the statue to dust. Folks, that statue represents every kingdom from the head of gold, King Nebuchadnezzar's kingdom and time on this earth, to the rock smashing the statue, which is the return of Christ and his everlasting kingdom. The head of gold is King Nebuchadnezzar, 605 BC to 529 BC. Chest and arms of silver were the Medes and Persians, 539 BC to 331 BC. Belly and thighs of bronze was the Greek Empire, 331 BC to 168 BC. Legs of iron, the Roman Empire from 168 BC to 476 AD. And lastly, the feet of iron and baked clay, 476 AD to today. Where do you think you are in the feet? The toes. That is where we are. The ten kingdoms that won't stick together as a kingdom. The European Union. As a matter of fact, we are somewhere in the toenails. Such an accurate prophecy. Now, I tell you before it come, that when it is come to pass, ye may believe that I am he. What an amazingly accurate prophecy. And he told us 2,000 years ago. That is the power of God at work telling everyone he is in control. These times are special indeed. If you are saved, spread the word. If you're hearing this and not saved, it is time to get saved. And above all, spread the word. We are in the end times.